What's up, Filipino martial artists? My name is Jen. Welcome to another episode of FMA Source. If you love the Filipino martial arts, make sure to smash up that like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Today, listen guys, I got what I believe to be the single best drill set for freeing up your stick whenever your opponent has grabbed it. We got Guru Joe Apostol. We got Coach Steve Dinamo, two amazing Filipino martial arts masters, really. We're at the boudoir right now. This is my personal garage dojo, where so many amazing Filipino martial arts masters pass through in order to become students again, in order to share concepts with one another, in order to uh, facilitate this idea that, you know, brotherhood and unity and collaboration can exist in the Filipino martial arts. But I'm talking a little bit too much. I want you all to watch until the very end of the video. Please make sure to pay attention to the details and nuances of the video, especially if this is something that you want to pass on and try with your students or with your training group. I promise you won't be disappointed. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you an example where I was able to pull off these very same concepts in a full contact rattan stick, Filipino martial arts, combat sport, stick, fighting, context. All right, let's enjoy the video. And, and you can't think uh, oh, com combative, mm -hmm. meaning all we're doing is imagine it being a warm-up. So I, mm -hmm. I'm holding the bottom, he's holding the top, mm -hmm. so he gets the disarm, right? Mm -hmm. uh, elbow, oh. and he wraps it up. Then he presents it the same. So now I can go parallel. Mm -hmm. There's my elbow. Ooh, Ooh this is fucking sweet. So, so I don't want to always grab up here. So I'm, I'm down here, for example, right? Mm -hmm. This is the one that so, I just did, right? Uh, and if it's dead here, you break this and yes. then it's the hit. Again, <laughs> not combative, but just wrapping the stick and taking it. So there's one, right? Mm -hmm. Then you pinch it, and you pull this possibly there. Then you present it to me. Uh, I'll play with it. There's yeah. my strike. There's my, my hit. And, you. and then I can go here. Yeah. And just keep going. Oh. And, and don't think about it. We're just wrap the stick up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Now, if the guy's still holding here, you clear it with there and you, you oh, get out yeah. the backside. But again, I don't want to go into that. And then the other one is if I'm here, then basically I can go here, down to here. You went, you went this way? Mm hmm. Okay. You can go both. You can oh. go that way. So it's one way or the other, or this way. Right, clear this and hit. Or if there's too much grip on the guy, you just punch it up. And, and so if I'm here, you see two circles. So I can go here, or I can go. Exactly. Here. I think you're smashing. Here. Boom. And I would use both hands. Meaning, so here I'm over. It's like an accidental. There's my shot. Mm -hmm. There's my rest. Yeah. yeah, that is a great, great. And you can see from those movements where you might go for takedowns too, Steve. You're already down there. Yeah. You're getting the stick. Yeah, often. Like you see, if you if you break this clear, mm -hmm. uh, for oh. instance, let's say I'm here, right, and we're struggling, and I take a shot, bang, I clear. Boom. Right? Yeah. There's my my beginning. Oh, ankle take. Oh. Yeah. It should go right off. It's of the such game. a great reference drill, and it's again, it's a drill. It's not. I like how you said, Steve, don't think combative. Not at just, this point. Just, yeah, not at this point. Right? So he has a double leg. And then the clinches are minimal, right? Mm -hmm. So, again, we're here. I'm just starting from a simple place. Mm -hmm. I hit you. I clear the stick. There's yeah. a single. Yes. Now, your turn. So we just uh, took a, a second hold, right? Yeah. So yeah, the first right. wrap you did. Well, right? Bang. Bang. Then the second hold. And pull into a knee. And then you're good. Uh, same thing right here. I think if I can hit first, right? Mm -hmm. oh, there's a hit there. Right there. Then I have ah, hit my hit. So there's a progression to me, or a transition that you can think about. So I can go hit here and then here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's in the leg. Oh, that's good. Because that plat that um, reference drill is so simple, you can you can add layers. So, for example, once uh, once Steve ex starts executing the disarm, Joe, what from there? Like, what can you do? What can you throw? You can start adding at so many different points. So for me, right, I have to let go, or else I'll be yeah yeah. I'll just Overhead, play. right, boom. 
Now, and then now it's, it's whoever gets a penny. It's a really first. great platform. It's so yeah. simple. You can add or you can just keep it simple at the very beginning stages and just work on circling up or circling down. See, now he's got the... Sure, goes first. I should follow you because you got the So this this to me, if we're to do this, it's here, big. It's big. So better. It, I, I'm better off punch here. Yep. Stick two hands. Look how close we are. Uh, I want to start wrapping this. See? Then, right. oh, yeah. I, I have this lever. So if we're really close, I would get both hands. Now do your thing. Here's the elbow. If you notice, like Paulo mentioned, the progression. Look how much I'm coming at you now. Mm -hmm. I got two because you took two. So in my brain, my. I've copy. seen versions of this too, and and maybe you can you can tell me about it. Have you seen it where it's like two people struggling like this, Absolutely. and then there's this. You can get it. That happens over here, but that's still a big. I would. Go I would like. That. I like this one more. Yeah. It, than the lift because. Like the lift to me can only be useful if I give you something else to think about. Then, yeah, like for me to lift here, yeah, there is a, it's two on one. I got two my on this. My gain is not that big. No, versus me like oh, trying yeah. to get control of your body. Yeah, a lift I might be still pissing you off. Yeah, I gotta like try to create an advantage quicker than a oh. yeah, lift. And then there's quadrants like you were saying before, right? Mm. Like this might be better in a, in a circumstance. An over under versus yeah, a so double. Yeah, so we're over. starting here. See my hand switch? Oh, yeah. Because I know, okay, there's my chance. And then oh. I get into the... Oh, the yeah, graphics. the lock right there. So look, now it's your turn. Think of it hitting me on this way. Like, so see that elbow? Make that elbow work for you. Bang. Right now, keep doing whatever it is you want. Wait. This is going to be a great idea, right? So, so now, if I'm coming in single, mm -hmm. look at how far You can even create that two-hand at the end as your end game and then start your disarm because yeah. we're really close right so look, you're wiggling the stick hey 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 ah, two, ah. there's the elbow look i hear it there's the, I hear the ah. push, right so you're just thinking of the same progression yeah right oh um, elbow again then this that all you know that famous double double handed move mm -hmm. Oh, hold on, hold on. That, I just, five, six, and seven. So seven, 11, and five are the same. Well, to walk, right? To walk yeah, yeah man. So now it's kind of like, so even if let's say you were to. Boom, boom, boom. You're a six. You know what's crazy? Mm. That's, um, that's like some World War II uh, yeah. bayonet, bayonet, bayonet yeah, exactly. tactics, yeah. Exactly. And and you know they pressure tested that stuff. Oh. <laughs> so they figure you need to. Have yeah, there was a war where they did that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, as you guys play, start incorporating pulling and pushing because that's what would happen in a clinch. Just a little bit, just a little bit. So as you do it, start so moving forward or start moving back. So you're pushing or pulling, me, right? So here you're pushing. So I, I'll drive that for. Uh, so see, I, I helped you there. Yeah. Right now, check your pockets or, or uh, stuff. Uh, uh, so same, luck. same thing. You start disarming. You see my reaction. But oh, hold on one sec. Mm -hmm. Feel this. I don't do nothing. See, how I'm driving you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's me controlling you. Uh -huh. So once I do that, you take over. So slowly, now you're driving. And then, and then do it. it. Change that speed so that and you're feel, not. You feel that you're steering this, not me. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me drive you here and. Mm -hmm. Do it back to me. Now you take it over, right? Mm. If you turn this way, now you take, oh, it over. take you offline on that other side. You can feel me here steering. Steer back. Okay? Small push. Just to close your eyes again. Mm -hmm. And and you might feel this. Mm -hmm. Or you might feel this. Mm -hmm. So what's a small? This all I'm doing. So you feel that? Mm -hmm. React to it. Don't resist. I do this, yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Now so I go to push you back. See the difference? Uh, uh. Again? Uh, a little bit stronger in your wrist. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yes, yes. So open your eyes now. Slow. 
<laughs> Boom. Forget the disarm part. So there you go. As you can tell, this is a slow and methodical representation of this drill. But for folks who know, you know that this is a drill that you can safely, progressively increase the intensity all the way up until reaching that energy level that we're all so familiar with if we spar full contact in FMA. Now, I just wanna say that the way that these um, disarms and dislodges are often trained in the classical sense uh, may be very pretty, consensual, and collaborative, but they do have a place, particularly when we're first learning these concepts. The thing about this drill, though, is that you can incorporate real energy as close to, or maybe even higher, than some of the sparring contexts that we engage ourselves in. And I do believe that it is in this kind of exploration where we are really able to alchemize the amazing knowledge that the grandmasters have passed on to us into skills of our own. So I hope you try this drill with your training group. I hope you do it safely. And if you do, you can show support for the channel by hitting that thumbs up, subscribing to the video, but a comment, um, telling us what it was like, sharing your experiences is probably the most meaningful uh, thing, uh, the most meaningful currency that we could ever ask from our viewers here at FMA Source. So again, thank you guys very much for watching. My name is Paula Rubio, aka AGN. Uh, thank you for, uh, for practicing the Filipino martial arts. Thank you for uh, loving one of the greatest cultural exports of the Philippines. Uh, no matter where you're from, no matter what your skill level, I just want to say thank you for practicing FMA and thank you for being amazing ambassadors of the Filipino martial arts. I'll see you next time. <laughs> don't, don't Don't, don't shake the mice.